hi guys welcome back to Kali J's kitchen in today's video i'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and i'll show you how to prepare this amazing stew chicken don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever i upload a new video go ahead and tell your friends tell your family members about Kali J's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And also on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. So here I have my chicken and it's already cleaned and washed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in and season. As you can see, I went in and add some pimento berries. Then I'm going to go in and add all of my powdered seasoning. So basically what I'm going to add to this is some of my paprika i will also go in with my black pepper of course i'm gonna add some of my garlic salt i will also add some of my seasoned salt some of my all-purpose seasoning if you guys have other seasoning that you want to add you can always go ahead and do so i will also add some of my soy sauce and of course i will add some of my browning combine all of that goodness together because you always want to ensure that your meat is nice to season try not to add too much browning and you can always go ahead and check the description box for all of the ingredients used today all of the ingredients that i'm using today you can get them at your local supermarket or grocery shop remember to be creative remember to be you in the kitchen and most of all utilize whatever you have at home you can visit your local meat shop and of course you'll get chicken there as well you can always go ahead and have this with some white rice you can have it with some rice and peas you can have it with dumpling banana yam whatever you have at home just be creative and just be you in the kitchen so once all of that is nicely combined i will go in and add some of my scallion i will also add some of my onion and my scotch bonnet pepper later on we will go ahead and add some garlic we will add some more of my onion some more scotch bonnet pepper and all of that goodness to our stew chicken once it's almost finished cooking once i add all of this i will just combine everything together nicely cover it put it to the side for roughly about 20 minutes before we start preparing as i said if you guys have other seasoning that you want to add you can always go ahead and do so as i always encourage you guys to be just be creative in the kitchen So of course because we are preparing some stew chicken today i will go ahead and put on my dutch pot and of course i added some of my vegetable oil and i will allow it to hot and once it's hot i will go in and add the chicken now once you add your chicken you just combine all of that goodness together move it up in the pot and basically you ensure that you turn on your stove on medium heat and you're not going to add any water you're just gonna cover it and allow it to just cook down now the chicken will spring its own water so you don't need to add any water just yet maybe later on you can just tip a little bit of water in it so we're just gonna cover it cover it sorry and we're gonna give it roughly about 20 minutes or so and then we're gonna come back and look at it all right guys so after 20 minutes this is what it looks like as you can see it springs a lot of water so what we're going to do again we're just going to combine everything together again just move up everything in the pot because we want our chicken to be nicely cooked and of course remember to always taste just in case you might need to add some more salt or some more all-purpose seasoning and if you guys have other seasoning that you want to add remember you can always go ahead and do so so we're just gonna cover this and give this roughly about another 10 or so minutes before we add the rest of the seasoning so after 10 minutes this is what it looks like almost finished cooking looking lovely 
so basically we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some more carrot we're gonna add some more of our onions some of our scallion and all of that goodness some garlic and we're also gonna add some ketchup now the ketchup will help with the thickness of the gravy no you don't want your gravy to be too watery you want it to be a little bit nice rich and all of that so the ketchup will help to give it that richness if you don't have ketchup but you have barbecue sauce you can always go ahead and tip a little and of course we're going to add a little bit of water because we, would, we don't want our, our gravy to dry out at all we want to add we want to have enough gravy so that we can have um eat it with our rice all right so that's exactly what i'm gonna do and of course once you add the ketchup and all of that goodness you combine everything together nicely again and then you're gonna cover it and leave it there for roughly about another seven or so minutes and allow it to just simmer down no you don't want the carrots to cook too much you want it to be crunchy so that's exactly what we're gonna do once it's finished cooking i will come back and show you guys what it looks like the final product we're going to serve this up with some white rice and some steamed vegetable on the side so stay tuned and there you have it guys the final product of my amazing stew chicken i hope you guys enjoy today's recipe i hope you guys go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think if you have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comment section we're on our way to 8k subscribers remember to share remember to tell your friends and your families about Kali J's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys tomorrow for another awesome recipe. Bye guys.